everyone, welcome back to Atlanta Tech Edge. Well, fake news, beware, because there's a new startup aiming to bolster journalism and protect the truth. Here to tell us about the unique news app, Ground is fighting the war against fake news is journalist Melissa Long. Hi, Melissa. Hello, thank you for having me. Well, I I'm thrilled it. that you're here because I'm a little nervous, one. <laughs> but two, you've been telling the news to Atlanta audience and national audiences for a long time, so who better to talk about ground than you Tell us what it is. Well, let me say, it is a little awkward to be on this side of the conversation. <laughs> right, sure. I'm accustomed to answering, yeah. asking the <laughs> questions, right. not answering them. So to answer your question about Ground, Ground is an innovative new app that has three main purposes. It can decipher fake news from real news, which unfortunately is a necessity right now. It helps to pop that news bubble. A lot of people maybe want to be in the bubble or mm -hmm. are in the bubble and they don't even realize they're in the bubble. It will help to show you different perspectives from different news organizations. The other thing it does is it empowers professional journalists and is creating a community, a global one, of citizen journalists. Yes, I love it, you know that it targets fake news because I feel like as a journalist it keeps me up at night. I'm sure it does the same to you. So how does Ground help do that essentially? So artificial intelligence or AI mm -hmm. is one of the key facets of this app. It's technology that has been worked on for uh, a year now plus with some really gifted engineers who are the founders of this app. And that artificial intelligence can decipher images and video that is uploaded to the internet and tell whether or not the metadata in it is actually correct. You were on vacation last mm -hmm. week, right? Mm -hmm. Fabulous destination, where did you go? Portugal. Okay, so you <laughs> were in Portugal. If you happen to upload video today from Portugal to Twitter, you, it might believe you're actually there because uh, Twitter does geo-referencing or looks at the uh, location of, of images less than 1% of the time. But Ground will look at the metadata and know whether or not that image is current and whether the image has been doctored. Right. So Ground can decipher fake news from real news from a citizen journalist or from just an everyday person because that's one of the key problems is people are uploading things and, and saying that something's happening that it really well, isn't. Right. And just because something is retweeted does not mean it's true. And then people kind of pile on that bandwagon, retweet it, retweet it, and you almost start to think, well, it has 50,000 retweets. It must be true. But that's not necessarily the case. Oh, it's yeah. absolutely not the case. It's very inaccurate. And if a friend of yours retweets something, Thing. Well, you like your friend, you want to believe your friend, right. but your friend probably didn't have the time to do due diligence and find out whether or not it was fact or fiction. Yeah, we were talking about earlier in the inception of Twitter, Facebook and even Google, they didn't set out to be news organizations, no. but in a sense they are now because they are promoting mm -hmm. news stories. So. Talk about the checks and balances that Ground has. So it's all through the technology, mm. patent pending. It's really difficult to fool the technology that the founders have created. And uh, it works hard to look at the images, look at the video, and give it a veracity score, or an accuracy score. If you happen to play with the app, you'll find a little shield. It has a little check mark, and that says it's verified. If it has the red shield with a check mark, it's been de-verified. You really can't trust it. And this is not only uh, citizen journalists and, and information that you may be putting online, but also we have a verification score for traditional news media as well. Yeah, I like how you said at the beginning, you know, you talked about the importance of journalism and one of your founders also said, we're not here to assist journalism, we're here to elevate it, mm -hmm. make it that much yeah, better. The ground team believes that technology has really done a disservice to the news industry. Mm -hmm. the, the news industry is struggling. There, there, there's a lot of criticism of journalists and, and we're needed now more than ever. Yeah. There's a lot of disinformation, a lot of misinformation out there. There's a lot of uh, acrimonious conversation. And we want to make sure people are as informed as possible and they have credible information they can trust. And one thing I like about the app, and I mentioned this earlier, I touched on it, is that if you have a news organization that's really your favorite and you read it religiously or you watch it often, well, maybe you need some additional perspective. And this mm -hmm. news organization, this app, I should say, yes. this platform, packages it so nicely for you. So you can see BBC, Reuters, 11 Alive, yeah. along with uh, the AJC, Decaturish, all packaged together. It's a very slick, user-friendly app, I have to say. And I like that you brought that up because it is so important to uh, be well-rounded. And I think people now, they come in with a certain bias, right? And then you are more apt to go to a place that's going to enforce your beliefs. Mm -hmm. But that's not what news is, mm -hmm. right? News is, especially if you're brought up in the journalism world, we're the same age, you were taught 
facts are facts, and there is no opinion, and I think we get so bogged down in the opinions of it all well, now. Well, there's, there's a lot of commentary now, and it's sometimes hard to decipher it what is. Is, is an opinion and what is, isn't an opinion. Mm -hmm. So this way you can get additional perspective by using a very simple app. It's a free app, I should point out. It, the name of it, again, is called Ground. It's international. It's a global team putting this together. And it's free in the Apple App Store. And if you have an Android device, you can get it there in the Play Store, too. Yes, Melissa, I love that. Tell people quickly, too. I didn't ask you this, but I think it's neat what Ground actually, how the name came about. OK, so Ground, you're on the ground. You're on the ground floor of the news. Yeah. And this is actually a. a, a an iteration of something else that was developed here in Atlanta through Techstars. So the two founders are, are, are phenomenally intelligent, creative people, engineers. The CEO is a former NASA engineer, and she had a vision. This is somebody who saw a problem and fixed a problem with fake news. She's, she's a voracious reader, and she decided to to do something about it. Yeah, incredible. Very smart people, and we're so oh, appreciative. I'm honored to be working yes. with them. <laughs> we're, we're so appreciative that you're telling people about Ground. And one more time, quickly, where can people get the app? Okay, so the Apple App Store, or if you have an Android, you can get it in the, the uh, Android Play Store as well, and it is free. And we hope you will download it. Some 15,000 news providers from local, 11 Alive, Decatur-ish, Curbed, all the way up to the BBC, Reuters, AP. Excellent. Everything you can imagine. Right, so thank you for letting thank me you. ask you some questions yes, today. It's, it's I appreciate awkward it. being yes. on this side I of it. I feel honored. Thank you so much. <laughs>